This story begins with Sam, a man desperate to hide and defend a group of innocent children in Africa. He opens fire on some rebels, but despite his efforts he is unable to protect them all and one of them falls lifeless to the ground. At that moment Sam feels a great helplessness at not being able to save him. The next day, he promises one of the girls who has a very deep wound, that she will be fine. Although seeing her like this, he feels a great sadness that floods her heart with rage and courage. Sam wants to continue helping vulnerable children in Africa, and asks for financial help, but is turned down. Faced with this refusal and not being able to continue helping them, he feels frustrated and wants to give up, since he feels abandoned by God. Despite this, his wife convinces him to continue since God himself showed him that path to follow, to be the soldier of God. It all started, back when no one could imagine what Sam would become. A man who was in jail, and shortly after being released, thought to live as he did before, but his wife makes him see that things are no longer the same. What? Friday night, you That everything on? has changed, and that she stopped working at the club, but he doesn't accept it and gets angry, because his wife's new job doesn't bring enough money. In addition, she tells him that he goes to church, and that inside he has also changed because he now believes in God. This annoys Sam so much that he goes to the bar to have a few drinks with his old friends, and even consumes prohibited substances. And since he needs to obtain money, his friend helps him in an assault on a drugstore, where they not only take the money, but also the merchandise. On his way back, Sam picks up a homeless man to give him a lift, without realizing that he was carrying a bladed weapon, with which he almost took the life of one of his friends for not going to the place they had agreed. Faced with this event, he throws himself against the homeless man, and plunges the knife into him many times, then throws him out of the car, and quickly escapes. For that reason he arrives at the house very dismayed. And while he tries to clean the plasma that is soaked in his clothes, his wife approaches him and stares at him. There, Sam with tears in his eyes desperately begs her to help him. She goes to the call of her husband, and with the whole family she takes him to receive Christ in her heart, so that she guides him and becomes a new man. After this act of love, Sam begins to work honestly to feed his family. Sam. And with a new attitude he performs a task that was assigned to him, but when he finishes it he does not get another job, so he is forced to return to his friend to tell him, even though he will be very close to temptation. For this reason, being already a servant of God, he doubts it a little. And when he meets his friend, he finds out that the homeless man he assaulted and threw from the car survived. Yeah, saw it on the TV. As expected, his friend tries to lead him astray again by offering him alcohol and prohibited substances, but Sam does not succumb to temptation and rejects him. A few days later the news reports that a tornado is approaching Pennsylvania, which does not take long and once it arrives, everyone tries to survive. That is why Sam and his family, full of faith, pray to God and survive the disaster, but the town is totally destroyed and now the family will have to rebuild their home. His old boss returns to look for Sam, and it is there that Sam has the opportunity to create a construction company, to be able to buy a house and live comfortably with his family. This is further proof that God is backing Sam for being a responsible person. One day at church, Sam listens to the pastor talk about the bad situation that Africa is going through, specifically in Uganda. Like yours, it is there where our friend yes. makes the first armed act of salvation with his partner, whom he takes and cares for, and after what happened he begins to support the people of Africa. He feels very happy to see that his family joins the noble cause and knows that with his construction skills, he will be able to help many families that are homeless. I was thinking maybe I could go over there. Days later, he begins the trip to the other continent, and on the way he befriends Deng and Marco, two soldiers from the Sudan People's Liberation Squad, who fight against the Lord's Resistance Army, a group of extremist fanatics of the Sudan War. Actually, After having offered his help with the construction work, 
Sam wants to verify with his own eyes the reality of the horrible punishments applied by the army, for which he arrives in the zone that is at war. There Sam is totally devastated and powerless, seeing what the army has done in that small town, as any of us would be when seeing up close the terrible she disaster the that war implies. The next day, he returns to his country with a fixed idea in his mind that does not let him sleep. Organizing his ideas, he comes to the conclusion to create a church in Pennsylvania to help people, and also he also plans to make an orphanage in Sudan. How are you going to pay for a church? A very beautiful act after observing the tragic fate of children in war. So he goes back to Sudan and buys the land he needs to build the orphanage he dreamed of. This is not a good idea. The first night when they built the first foundations, he was attacked by the army. More than 20 extremists burned the small huts that they had built to sleep and attack with various types of weapons. Sam's reaction is slow, but he manages to gather all the children, while his friends along with other classmates start the counterattack. Sam runs desperately to safeguard the children in the church taking advantage of the darkness, but the extremists manage to see them and attack them. Some of the children fall lifeless to the ground, but like Sam, he has very good aim and good handling of weapons, he manages to win this fight. Seeing everything destroyed, he is about to give up, because he thinks that it was not a good idea and that everything was in vain. Destroyed and down, he calls his wife and tells her everything, but she encourages him asking him not to give up, that he must continue and fight for his dreams and that he has to think about those children who need someone to help them so Sam, very determined to move on, returns to the land where he was building the orphanage, and with the help of his friends and other members of the squad, they build defenses to protect themselves and thus be able to complete the mission. Even so, the attacks continue. So Sam, upset and fed up with not being able to do anything when he saw the children fall lifeless, makes the decision to go against the army and face them in order to save the innocent. So with weapons in hand, together with Dang and the squad, they ambush a van full of armed children. In view of the circumstances, they decide to attack the van that is guarding the children first and manage to annihilate the oppressors. Now only the van where the armed children go remains, thus the crossfire between both sides begins, but it is a single extremist against the armed squad of Sam, when suddenly one of the children opens fire on the back of his oppressor, the Shepherd White. At that very moment, an army soldier throws an explosive that does not achieve its purpose. That is where Sam, somewhat hurt, sees through the smoke that the armed children lower their weapons and look for him to take refuge. After that, Sam returns to his country leaving Dang in charge. Once there, he becomes the pastor of his church and begins to preach and give his life testimony. But he does not give up and goes to an old friend named Bill, to ask him for $5,000 that he needs to continue helping in Africa. Bill in response promises that he will do everything possible to get it. See what I can come up with. Shortly after, Sam receives an invitation from Bill to a party, in which he gives him a check for only $150, which makes Sam very angry, because it was evident that Bill had spent much more than that for that party. Sam does not give up, and begins to sell his personal belongings, such as his car and his weapons, to invest everything in the orphanage in Sudan. Sam already knows that he will have a great prize when he finishes building it, which will be to see a big smile on the faces of those children, despite the fact that the conflict is still going on in his country. So much interest in helping in Africa, he draws the attention of the army leader, who puts a price on his head. But not only the oppressive leader but also the leader of the squad, who visits him to learn his ideas and unite with Sam to fight for the same cause. All this has made Sam obsessed, since he feels helpless and frustrated, as well as being somewhat upset with God, since he feels that he has abandoned him for not being able to save the lives of all those innocent children. Back in his country, he goes to the bank to request another loan, and faced with the banker's refusal, he does not listen to reasons and loses his calm feeling that nobody is helping him. Sam's obsession has grown so great that he becomes numb to the squad leader's accident, and he loses control over his family and friends. 
He only had the fixed idea of helping the children of Sudan and it was the only thing that mattered to him, to the point that he sells his construction company, takes his savings and goes back to Sudan without caring about the life of his daughter and his wife. Sam is totally unhinged and irritable, and that's why the soldiers of the squad don't want to continue supporting him. But something surprising happens that makes him change his attitude. It is the voice of one of the children that Sam saved. The child, despite not speaking to anyone, told Sam the sad story of how, because of the army, he had to annihilate his mother to save his brother's life. Sam, upon hearing the child's words, breaks down and cries, and the voice of that little angel makes him react, and he realizes that his actions are not on the right track. He knows that it was a message from God to correct his attitude. It is there that he calls his family to tell them how much he loves them, and he begins to feel an immense inner peace. I'm thinking of a tree. At that moment, Deng informs Sam that there is a convoy with children from the army near the border, and without hesitation, he goes along with the squad to meet them. And thus begins the attack between the two sides, from which Sam and the squad are victorious. Now that everything is calm, a group of children are transferred, while the other waits with Sam for him to return with more help. This is the summary of a real-life Christian movie called Machine Gun Preacher. Click here and don't miss the following story.